Hello, it's Brad Kearns with the University of Kentucky Trombone Studio. Um, this short video today is describing a little bit about some care and maintenance for your trombone. Uh, particularly, we're going to focus on the slide. Um, I'll remove my bell section and mouthpiece here, and I want to talk a little bit about slide care. Um, there are basically two parts to the slide, the inner slide and the outer slide. And one thing as trombone players, is sometimes we even obsess a little bit about it, is uh, our slide action, the ability to move the slide quickly and smoothly. Um, probably the, the best, the, one, the thing you want to start with is making sure the slide is clean. Uh, you would clean the inner slide by simply wiping this off with a paper towel, um, some type of cheesecloth or something like that. You literally just wipe it off. You could put it in the bath and wipe it off that way, um, something like that. And also, the outer slide you would want to clean with a cleaning rod such some uh, so a lot of trombones will come with these such as Yamaha etc um, with some cheesecloth you can um, run this in and out of the outer slide to clean in there also be careful to not get too big of a piece of cheesecloth or something like that because it can get stuck in there um, you can also clean the inside of the inner slide with this as well which is a good idea um, just to keep that clean with just um, every so often. And then the, the other thing I want to talk about, here's another option. You could use a snake. These are just, you can buy these in any music store to clean both, um, to run down into the inner part of the inner slide or through the outer slide. You want to probably have that wet with some water, probably in the bathtub. Using it dry is, it gets kind of gross, but. Um, and the second thing I want to talk about is then, after you've cleaned the slide, applying some types of slide cream. Um, I'm no way an a endorser of any of these slide creams or, um, or anything like that. I just I was going to give a couple ideas. There are several. Um, there's like a pre-mix. Uh, there's a slide-o-mix type of slide. Uh, lubricant, rapid comfort is the combination of these two red top bottles. Um, that's what I use actually. I use it on, I have a Shires trombone. It seems to work really well. And that being said, the liquid form, um, also I know that Yamaha has a really great liquid form that they use. And, um, but then again, uh, another excellent, incredible manufacturer, Edwards Trombones, they suggest that you use trombone tea. That's a more cream base. And I know Bach, when I had a Bach trombone, I used um, the cream-based trombotine. And I think what it is, is actually it's the, the way the slides are made will determine what, um, what slide oil or slide cream you would use. Because uh, I think the Yamaha has a pretty tight fit, basically the inner slide and the outer slide, where it's fitting over top of the outer, the outer slide, fitting over top of the inner slide. And I think that's why Yamaha... Probably there's not a lot of give um, when you you can't really move the slide much right there, and so I think that's why Yamaha probably encouraged the use of um, more of a liquid base. And then, um, but then again, Bach slides I've noticed when I have had a Bach in the past, and I still own a Bach Jazzhorn, the slide has a little more give, you know, the inner to the outer, and I know that the cream seems to work a little bit better on that. So I think as far as slide getting your slide moving as quickly and as efficiently as possible. You might want to try a few things. Uh, you might want to try something like a Yamaha or a Slido Mix, uh, more of a, a liquid-based product. And then you might also want to try some trombone tea or some type of cream to see if that helps your slide. Um, there's no harm in trying several things and seeing what works for your horn. So that's really about it. Just want to talk a little bit about the slide today. And um, if you have any questions or anything I can help you with, please feel free to send me an email at bradley.kearns at uky.edu. Thanks a lot.